Hi everyone and welcome to my listeners viewers in this class. Uh, basically we are going to discuss the topic of the coefficient of the variation. Uh, in the last lecture basically we discussed about the interpretation of the standard deviation. Now we are going to more explain about and we are uh, how can we use this the term of the standard deviation, the tool of the standard deviation more efficiently and more specifically. So this is called the coefficient of the variation. Coefficient of variation is a छोटा सा कॉन्सेप्ट लेकिन बहुत मीनिंगफुल बहुत काम का आपको इस लेक्चर में यानी इस बात का अंदाजा होगा कि हमने वी डिस्कस इन डिटेल अबाउट द मेजर ऑफ वेरिएशन एंड हमने उनके मेरिट्स भी देखे डी मेरिट्स भी देखे एंड देन वी कंक्लूडेड द फाइंड दैट इफ द मीन इज देयर इफ द वेरिएशन इज देयर सो वी कैन रीच सम कंक्लूजन बट दिस टॉपिक इज गोइंग टू मोर एनहेंस दिस थ्योरी दिस Uh, understanding that the, the 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 same two values can be used and we can compare we can judge the data more in detail uh, as compared to only the simple the value of the standard deviation and mean uh agar hum standard deviation ki baat kare so standard deviation is not only the tool which can be used for the as a measure of dispersion and which is not telling about the much of the data that means yes okay the value of the standard deviation is 10 so we are not uh, uh, going to explain or we are not able to explain the very clear picture of data hum ye keh sakte hain ki ye ek aisi value hai jo bata rahi hai ki iska jo mean hai hoga usse values jo hain wo itne difference mein maujood hai but for the layman for the executives for the uh, uh, for the data readers it is not the e a simple words to explain about it so what is the need of the coefficient of the variation basically so coefficient of variation can be explained as basically is the standard deviation as a percentage of their mean the definition is simple the standard deviation as a percentage of their mean so the definition is that but how it works so for this purpose we have three more points three important points which 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 we are going to explain the uh, coefficient of the variation basically coefficient is a relative measure of the variation as a percentage it's very important is not the simple value simple measure simple measure mean that's mean we, uh, uh, we are saying that the standard deviation is 10 so but now we are taking in the different view standard deviation as a relative measure as a percentage the second important point coefficient of the variation can be used to compare the variation of the two or more than two data sets this is the very very important aap jab hum is position pe pahunche the ki hum इसको ये देख सकें कि कोई दो डेटा सेट्स हैं कहीं दो जगह परफॉर्मेंस हुई है सो so हमने ये कहा था कि उसकी मेन परफॉर्मेंसेस समटाइम सेम हो सकती हैं या अगर मेन परफॉर्मेंस डिफरेंस भी हो तो हमें उसकी सिनर डिवीजन की भी ज़रूरत पड़ेगी कि जो बता सकेंगे कि यार इन दोनों में वेरिएशन का पैटर्न कितना है और जिसकी वेरिएशन ज़्यादा होगी हम उसको ज़्यादा कहेंगे कि वो भले ज़्यादा मेन रखता हो लेकिन वो इनकन्सिस्टेंट है और जिसकी वेरिएशन कम होगी दैट्स मीन कि उसकी वैल्यूज़ अपने मीन को उसका मीन अपनी वैल्यूज़ को रिप्रेजेंट कर रहा है सो बट देयर इज नॉट अ सिंगल लाइन एक्सप्लेनेशन एट दिस सिचुएशन इफ वी हैव मीन एंड सोल्यूशन बट बाय यूजिंग द सीवी वी कैन कंपेयर टू अ मोर देन टू डेटा सेट्स एंड देन इट्स वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग सी वी कैन ऑल्सो बी कंपेयर the data sets when they have the different data units so these three points are important But we are taking example and then we can understand that what are these three points and how the coefficient of variation is a very useful and the meaningful concepts hum example mein ye discuss kar rahe hain ki if we have two students student a and student b we discuss in the uh, in the start of the lecture actually 
हमें दो स्टूडेंट की परफॉर्मेंस को कन्फर्म करना है लेट सपोज द बोथ स्टूडेंट आर स्टडी इन द सेम क्लास एंड दे गिव द एग्जाम ऑफ द फाइव डिफरेंट सब्जेक्ट्स एंड दे सिक्योर द मार्क्स इन डिफरेंट फाइव सब्जेक्ट्स आउट ऑफ हंड्रेड सो वट इज दिस बेसिकली स्टूडेंट ए टोक द फोर्टी मार्क्स इन सब्जेक्ट वन एंड बी टोक द फिफ्टी फाइव मार्क्स इन सब्जेक्ट वन सो अगेन दे आर द वेरिएशन वी कैन नॉट पास द वन लाइन ऑफ द स्टेटमेंट एट विच स्टूडेंट इज गुड सो इफ दे टोक द डिफरेंट मार्क्स इन डिफरेंट फाइव सब्जेक्ट्स एंड देन वी टोक द एवरेज तो एवरेज इज सोइंग डेट के एक्स स्टूडेंट वन का जो एवरेज मार्क्स आ रहे हैं वो सिक्सटी वन आ रहे हैं और स्टूडेंट पी के जो मार्क्स आ रहे हैं वो सिक्सटी थ्री आ रहे हैं सो ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ एवरेज एवरेज इज सोइंग डेट के ऑलमोस्ट उन्होंने हर सब्जेक्ट में इतने मार्क्स लिए हैं ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ द एवरेज स्टूडेंट बी इज लुकिंग गुड बिकॉज इट सिक्योर द मोर एवरेज मार्क्स दैन द स्टूडेंट ए बट only the average is not the good way to judge the any uh, student or performance of the student so uh, what we are going to discuss here so we are we are using the second option which is called standard deviation standard deviation formula is very simple n summation x square minus uh, summation uh, x whole square and divided by n into n minus 1 we are using this technique uh, n and n into n minus 1 because we are using the sample variance sample variance is uh, uh, discussed uh, in the earlier lecture so you can refer my earlier lectures to discuss about the sample variance so sample variance is showing that uh, the student a has uh, 17 standard deviation and student b has a more variation 29 so on the basis of the mean is showing that the student p is very good but this average is looking inconsistent than student a because uski and data mein variability zyada hai as compared to student a ye hi humne shevishev theorem mein bhi discuss kiya tha ki agar uski mean se values uski close hongi to uski ye wali value bhi kam aayegi aur uski ye wali value zyada jab aayegi jab uske mean se और मीन से वैल्यूज़ का दूर होना स्प्रेड की ज़्यादा होने की अलामत है और वो इस बात को भी शो करती है कि हमारा डाटा हमारा मीन जो है वो लिटिल बिट इज़ गोइंग टू बी इनकन्सिस्टेंट लेकिन वी आर इंटरेस्टेड इन द वन लाइनर स्टेटमेंट वी आर इंटरेस्टेड इन वेरी एक्यूरेट आंसर एंड अप्रोप्रिएट कंपेरिजन सो वी यूज द कोफिशेंट ऑफ द वेरिएशन coefficient of the variation mean the standard deviation should be divided by the mean the mean the standard deviation taken as a percentage of their mean so 28% variation and here is a 46% variation so which coefficient variance is more so we may easily compare that ki this data is more consistent and more reliable than the uh, student b so But the concept is that we have the marks and we are going to compare if there are lot of students there are the five student 10 student and by using the same way we calculated the coefficient of the variation so coefficient of the variation which student has the low coefficient of the variation we can say that although this student has the lower mean but it is more consistent than it shouldn't be so the data sets can be compared by the coefficient of variation but one thing is that very important sometime low number is the good sometime the high number is the good ye aapko data ki understanding pe baat hogi is pe coefficient variation kuch nahi baat karega कोफिशेंट वेरिएशन का मकसद सिर्फ और सिर्फ डाटा के अंदर कंसिस्टेंसी रिलायबिलिटी और वेरिएशन के कम होने की बात है लेट सपोज इफ दीज आर नॉट मार्क्स इफ दीज आर नंबर ऑफ मिस्टेक्स तो हमें नंबर ऑफ मिस्टेक्स जिसकी कम होंगी वो ज़्यादा अच्छा है तो दिस इज़ नॉट द केस ऑफ द कोफिशेंट वेरिएशन ये आपकी 
अपना प्रॉब्लम का केस है आपकी स्टडी का केस है ये आपको अंडरस्टैंड करना होगा यानी इंटरप्रटेशन के वक्त आप ये नहीं कह सकते कि अब वहाँ पर आ, कम नंबर जो है ज़्यादा अच्छा है तो वी आर जस्ट कैलकुलेटिंग हेयर द कोफिशेंट ऑफ द वेरिएशन मीन विच डाटा सेट इज मोर कंसिस्टेंट एंड हैज द लेस वेरिएबिलिटी सो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट द स्टूडेंट हैज द लेस वेरिएबिलिटी द कोफिशेंट वे अब क्वेश्चन इज अराइजिंग मोर The third one is showing that coefficient of variation can also be used when the data set have different units. यानी कि अगर data sets की units different हों, what is the meaning of that? Because these are marks, these are also marks. So we are comparing apple to apple, marks to marks. But coefficient of variation has a, an other quality. There is no need of same units. हम different units जैसे कि there is marks and there is a production units, number of units produced. There are two different units and there is a marks, there are number of mistakes. So these are two different. How can we compare? It? We can compare by using the coefficient of variation. So let's see in the next example. now you can get the clear idea about it what is how the coefficient of variation works in the case of the different units now we have different example with the different units different units ki jab hum baat karenge to unki jo numbers or figures hain wo bhi aapas mein koi sense nahi rakhenge kyunki because they are reporting in different units First one is the category of the software engineer. Software engineer basically prepare, develop four different programs, develop different uh, programs and languages, and these are the number of bugs in each program. So, पहले program में उसको fourteen bugs का सामना करना पड़ा, दूसरे program में five bugs का सामना करना पड़ा. and then third one have the six bugs and the fourth have the 10 bugs the th second one is another designation this is called the cutting master so there is no comparison of the software engineer and cutting master but if the researcher is interested in different units of calculation be careful our objective is to find out the its variation status any given which category has the less variation so less variation ke liye zaruri nahi ki aapke unit same ho cutting master basically is cutting the pieces and in which they have some defects so in first lot they have 105 defective pieces in they, they cut and they they the defect they, they they made the defective pieces and the second lot they 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 made the 236 defective pieces in this third one they made the 165 and then 1222 defective pieces so 14 number and 105 is a number has a different to ab agar hum in do data ke darmiyan comparison jaate hain to hum kis tarah se baat kar sakenge ki this units is defects this units is the bugs but we are interested that case the software engineer has a less variation in their working and the cutting master has a less variation in their working so simply we will take the squares of the these these two figures why because we have to calculate the standard deviation and we will use this formula in which we have the square value here and for the average we will sum the bugs we will sum the defects and then divided by the number of observation so Number one is the software engineer, so we will use the sign uh, B. B mean bugs, and we will use the sign D. D mean defects. So the average number of bugs are nine. So on average, each programs have nine bugs. Okay, average number of defects in each lot. So we have one ninety nine defects in each lot, and then 
now we are discussing about the standard deviation this case means 199 and 9 is not comparable because and it should not be comparable because the nature of data is different similarly the status of variation is different so in the previous case without using the coefficient of variation we are able to pass some comments hum uske andar sirf ye dekh pa rahe the yaar agar ek स्टूडेंट के नंबर ऑफ मार्क्स इतने हैं और उसकी वेरिएशन इतनी आ रही है तो हम लग रहा था कि यार पहला स्टूडेंट ज़्यादा कंसिस्टेंट लग रहा है उसकी वेरिएशन 17 आई है और उसकी 29 आई है बट इन दिस कंडीशन वी आर नॉट इजी टू से यार यार इसकी वेरिएशन ज़्यादा है इसकी वेरिएशन कम नो एट दिस स्टेज स्टिल वी आर नॉट गिविंग एन एनी वी आर नॉट एबल टू गिव पास एनी कॉमेंट्स अबाउट द वेरिएशन स्टेटस सो Variation of the uh, software engineer is uh, four, and variation of the number of defects is eighty. So again, this technique will be used coefficient of variation, and which is showing that the uh, when we were discussing about the bugs, we have the high variation then as compared to. number of defects so apparently 4 is very less than 80 but we cannot compare it which techniques to make it comparable this is called coefficient of variation to coefficient of variation ne masla aasan kiya because usne usko usko unit pe ja ke compare kiya usko uske unit pe ja ke compare kiya and then we find out that ke defects आने की वेरिएशन जो है कटिंग मास्टर की वेरिएशन जो है वो कम है एज कम्पेयर टू सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियर सो दिस इज़ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कॉन्सेप्ट कोफिशेंट ऑफ द वेरिएशन आल्सो इट इज़ द एक्सटेंशन ऑफ द टॉपिक ऑफ द मेज ऑफ द वेरिएशन एंड आई होप दैट दिस टेक्निक्स विल बी वेरी यूजफुल इन योर फ्यूचर इन योर डेली रूटीन वर्किंग Uh, in the in the analysis and uh, if we, you are going if you are conducting some experiments of the botanical experiments zoological experiments medical experiments and some trials so you can use this technique and uh, you can find out the uh, variation status of your experiments so thank you very much and keep watching